Okay, so now I have this piece, which I bent up, just mildly bent, to line up over here for this side of the pan. And then I have this piece, which does the same thing over here. Now they're a little bit different, but that's okay because we're just going to cut a piece that fits this profile anyways. But the weird thing is that for some reason this side acts a lot longer than this side, which I don't understand completely, but that's kind of why you have this mismatch in length. But when you actually put them on the pan, they all line up like they should be. So I'm going to throw you on a little time lapse. I'm going to get these tagged up and on. And then we'll go about making the little back piece that covers this area and then do the last final bit to cover the whole thing. Alrighty, so here is our piece that's going to go on the back side. I squared up the bottom. Now, if only I could just kind of throw this on here and be on my merry way, and I could be done. But that is our template. So now I just need to transfer that to my plate steel, cut it out, kind of lay it in there. I marked out where this bends are at. These are a little offset just because I'm human and I make mistakes a little bit. Sometimes, usually always, but just cut that out. Bend it, stick it on, and then that's a, essentially a closed up oil pan for a dry sump. All right, well, my bending solution doesn't work for something this wide, so kind of had to figure this out, and I think this is gonna work. I got quarter inch plate steel behind there, and quarter inch here, clamp to that, clamp to that. I'm gonna basically use these to bend it, and it should bend right on my bend line. But, I haven't done this yet, so you're gonna watch with me and see if it actually works. It's bending. Holy crap, that actually worked. You can see it, it bent right along the bend line. So that's pretty neat.
All right, so now that I, it's fully welded on the outside and I went through and cleaned up all the edges and kind of ground down the excess that I had, now I need to make sure that there's no leaks. So I have my handy dandy watering pail. We're gonna start filling this up and hopefully there's no leaks. I saw a few little pinholes that kind of came through as I was welding, but there's always that chance that it was just a micro micro hole or it was just on the surface so here we go well now I'm gonna go fill up my water bucket some more and then we'll try and fill this thing all the way to the top So, as you can see, I have a little bit of a leak in the front right corner and a little bit of a leak along his back side. But we're going to try and... No, where is that coming from? Didn't think this through. Everyone, after fixing a few leaks in this corner up here, and then along this back seam back here, I don't have any more leaks. So that kind of wraps it up, because I don't necessarily know what side I'm gonna mount my dry sump on, like the pump itself, whether it's gonna be on the left side of the engine or the right side. So I'm not gonna put fittings into this until I know where I want the scavengers to pull from. So for now, this is done. This can go on my engine, keep it clean, keep the debris out. So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. This is just how I did it. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to do it, but this is how I did it. So you can either use how I did it or modify it up for your own thing. So just have a good day and keep trying new things.